class. And uh, I thought this is going to be a bit drab, it's pages and pages of notes, it's going to be a bit dry. But wow, when I get to talk about the deity of Christ, I get excited. Yes. Come on. I find that's a really exciting topic. Mm. And I love theology. Theology is the understanding of God. Mm. I, I love understanding God. Mm. I mean, true theology. The true understanding of God. Now, firstly, we looked at the uh, Nicene Creed, which was a prelude to the Apostles' Creed. I much prefer the Nicene Creed. The words of the a Nicene Creed. We believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, begotten of the Father, only begotten. That is, essence of the Father, God of God, light of light, very God, of very God, begotten, but not made. Amen. I'm getting excited already. Come on. Come on. I'm getting excited already. <laughs> the prophecy of the Old Testament, Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born, he shall be called the mighty God. Yep. Now, if people say to you, the Bible never says that Jesus is God, that Jesus is God, why didn't he say to us very clearly? You're going to hear him say it very clearly over and Amen. over and over tonight. Amen. Uh, like, did I tell you I had a green shirt on? But do you know that I do? Mm -hmm. There are some things that are so obvious they don't need to be stated. Amen. They are so obvious. There's going to be a child born. He's going to be called the mighty God. Well, if it's not Jesus, who is it? <laughs> Was it King Herod? <laughs> Paul, perhaps. I don't think so. It's got to be Jesus. Yeah, yeah. And if Jesus is not the Messiah, the Son of God, the King of Israel, then God has broken his word and failed his promise to the Jewish people because they have no temple, they have no high priest, for nearly 2,000 years, they lost the very land on which the temple was. And God said, he chose a place to live, and that's Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. But when that veil was broken and rent in two, at the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit did not remain just to be a, a Jewish God, yeah. to be Israel's promise, but to be the delight of the nations. Amen. Amen. My house should be called a house for prayer for all nations. Amen. The Jewish people, I would say, should rejoice that the knowledge of Yehoah, the knowledge of the God of Israel, the God of Abraham and God of Isaac and the God of Jacob has been brought to the world through Jesus Amen. Christ and the Christian church. Amen.